Hello, welcome friends. In this video, I will show you how to debug an um, Android code, Java code in an Android uh, Android Studio. So while you are creating a app, Android apps in Android Studio, the debugging part is really important and I will quickly show you how you can do that. For this, I am starting my Android Studio and here one of the application which I was developing <coughs> Uh, previously has come up which is my calculator if you remember in one of my other videos I have shown you how to uh, create this calculator and this is exactly this app ID is all about so first I'll show you I have I'll show you I will wait for it to finish just now it is finished so now first we'll run a simple uh, <coughs> uh, uh, run without debugging in one of our emulator so you can have multiple emulator installation if you need uh, uh, help in installing your emulator please let me know I can provide a, a video for that as well so once you click OK it should bring up this emulator and we'll just quickly see if our calculator is working fine as we were doing yesterday and yeah it, it works fine I will not go much into detail so it, I assume it, it works fine now let's see <coughs> let's assume you have to debug the this main, main uh, function the button click equal press so whenever you press this equal to button this particular uh, code is executed so you want to see the various variables and all those things while you run it how you can do that the steps are very simple you can put a breakpoint wherever you want to start so I will put a point breakpoint at line number 34 I will repeat if you want to know the development of this particular script which I am showing you the code you can watch my other video in which I have explained how to build a simple calculator app in Android so you please do watch my other video so and uh, to start debugging instead of doing a simple run using this button you can do uh, the other one which is this one you can also press the shortcut key which is shift plus f9 or you can <coughs> click on this to switch from run to debug the app has to restart of course because this app which is started is in simple mode and not in debug mode so we will have to restart the app and it again gives an option to choose the emulator since this emulator is already started so it shows as a connected device to my android studio i just click ok over here and yeah this is restarting it restarted and now let's do it again say for example 2 plus 6 this time see the moment we hit this equal to button our uh, cursor uh, our pointer came to this particular line number 34 and has stopped is it still waiting what should I do so what are the options you have got while you are debugging automatically if you see in the lower side all this information will come up where you have options of either you can um, first button a step over that is go to the next line a step into f7 you can go inside this particular function since there is no function I assume that when you press f7 it will go to the next line itself you can also force a step into alt shift f7 and I think this will be a step out which is like go out of this function since this is the only function we are calling so I think once you press this it will uh, complete this function and display our output in the uh, emulator window okay so and, and on this right hand variables it will show all the variables which is there assigned till now in this particular uh, function so we will do f8 over here I will do next so if you see in over here in the variables the delims variable has been created now I do next and I expect a specs variable will get created yes wonderful and now I do next and it will fetch it should fetch the string which is there in my text box in the uh, in my calculator screen so this should be able to fetch it also the Android studio on the right hand side if you see in this gray part this shows the actual output which you can expect while running this so it so it will show you uh, a kind of hint that what which widget it uses and 
what is the expected output so when we do expression so if you see zero 2 plus 6 which comes from this emulator has been uh, has has come to this expression variable over here now this two would be an interesting variables probably people might be interested so we do just do next and uh, next two times so <coughs> let's see if it is able to fetch the operands and op operations uh, uh, variable correctly or not so if you in the operands if you just since it's an array so you have to expand it and then you can see in the zeroth element is zero two and first element is six in the operations the first element is the zeroth element is blank and first is plus so if you remember in the last video i sh uh, told like i'll tell you why i chose plus one here in this logic so it is because of this because the by default when you do this operation when you split the expression with the specifications of the delimiters then the first element comes as a empty it's not always like that uh, there is uh, other use cases i can probably explain you over here say for example because what it's considering in the zero element is this the first before the, uh, the first empty space also as in uh, delimiter if you give any delimiter here say for example a plus or minus sign before this zero two then that will come into this zero part so but mostly we write numbers without a sign i mean without a plus sign so we just write zero two so that's what that delimiter is coming as an empty yeah now i do further f8 or next i know it comes into the for loop so now my variable i should have assigned i can expand it and uh, also say for example you want to see the length of this operations this this what is this value since it is not assigned to any of the variables uh, you can't see it in these variables and but what what if you want to know in the code what is what is the value it is having so what you can do for that is just select that part of the string right click on that and <coughs> use this evaluate expression option or alternatively you can also press alt plus f8 so i'll just click on this and then click on evaluate and it brings the result to, which is two yes so you can even make it like you, you, you can even even form your own own expressions here say for example if you want to see quickly the value what is the second element of two since operations is the length of two so it has index only zero and one valid so we'll just do one over here so one is a plus sign if you do a zero over here it's blank as i explained you previously and yeah so various options you can uh, try out if you say for example if you do a two string and let's see what does it do so it, it just gives some java class history so yeah so you can play so sometimes it's very important while programming that you know upfront that what will be your uh, or what are the options you should choose for a particular uh, object and over here you can try out by uh, playing with all those options so i will repeat you have to just right click and go to this evaluate expression option over here Okay, so now I do uh, again next. Next. So since it was a plus first time, it came. You can see the result would have come here. You can also evaluate these expressions again as I explained to you. Say for example, if you want to quickly evaluate, then what will be this value? You can write, just select, evaluate expression, evaluate, and this option comes back. Over here, if you see on the right hand side, they also give this option that use control shift enter to add to uh, watches so that will make sure that you have a watch list which comes up and whenever you do a next over here the value of this expression gets updated and you can see it live so so you, you could you can you can even try that so i i press control shift uh, and enter on my keyboard and if you see this particular expression has come here so this becomes very important when you are in a for loop and you you are iterating with different values of i then you can always see what is the current value of your this expression which is coming i do a f8 it goes again there and i think it was over so it got over expression type unknown because all these variables have been uh, deleted or no it has gone out of this particular uh, method 
is is going to the the uh, the system the java matrix which we can of course ignore and then we can just to end we can just <coughs> resume program which will just run it till the end and that's all and we can go back here and see value 8 came we can try again once more quickly i'll just put 8 minus 1 equal to and it comes here again i'll just do you you just keep a watch on the uh, here below the screen and you can see what is happening so the moment this goes into for loop the first line will again get enabled so you saw that right that is what i was expecting it went to the minus yeah okay so i hope this video is useful to you you can debug any part of the uh, code by putting the breakpoint over there and then uh, using it respectively please do watch my other video if you want to understand this code or if you want this code please do put in the comments and i will be glad to provide you more information on this thanks for watching this video and have a nice day bye